Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today. We're in chapter 8, verses 24 to 30. Quite a few verses. Let's read through. Then the Lord did so, and there came a great swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh and the houses of his servants, and the land was laid waste because of the swarms of flies in all the land of Egypt. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Go, sacrifice to your God within the land. But Moses said, It is not right to do so, for we will sacrifice to the Lord our God what is an abomination to the Egyptians. If we sacrifice what is an abomination to the Egyptians before their eyes, will they not then stone us? We must go a three days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he commands us. Pharaoh said, I will let you go that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you shall not go very far away. Make supplication for me. Then Moses said, Behold, I am going out from you, and I shall make supplication to the Lord that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people tomorrow. Only do not let Pharaoh deal deceitfully again in not letting the people go to the sacrifice to the Lord. To sacrifice to the Lord. So Moses went out from Pharaoh and made supplication to the Lord. So we looked at verses 20 to 23 yesterday. The threat came. God says, okay, you haven't let my people go. And so here comes the next plague. You got, you got 24 hours to think this over before I, you know, before I throw the switch. And so Pharaoh takes that time to think about it. And when the time is up, Pharaoh is absolutely still unrepentant. And so, boom, here comes then this fourth plague. So God sends the plague and then Pharaoh sends for Moses and Aaron. And this plague marks kind of a turning point for Pharaoh here because he's moving from absolutely not position to, uh, okay, here are some concessions. You can go and sacrifice. You can go a little bit of the ways. You know, it's, this, is, this is a substantial change in the negotiating here. Pharaoh was now uh, a little bit more, apparently anyways, agreeable. They can go, but they have to stay within the land of Egypt. In other words, they're still under my control. They're still under my thumb. I'm still Pharaoh, and I still own them. They still are going to do labor for me. Now, Pharaoh again requests that Moses make supplication for him, and, and Moses does so. Now, as you can guess, the outcome is going to be similar to other outcomes that we've seen before, but that's for tomorrow. For now, we notice that the worsening plagues are having a cumulative effect on Egypt and on the Egyptians. They are not very happy at this time, and they are recognizing that they're up against something that's bigger than anything they can really take on. Pharaoh sees it, his counselors see it, all the Egyptians see it, and these flies, whatever kind of flies they are, biting, non-biting, maybe a combination, maybe several different kinds of flies, they're not lots of fun. They're buzzing everywhere and perhaps biting everywhere. Up here in Michigan, we have a fly that comes out at certain times of year called the black fly. You don't want to be bitten by the black fly. It really swells up. It's nasty. It's, I think I'd rather have a series of mosquito bites than just one or two black fly bites. But anyway, they are suffering there in Egypt because Pharaoh will not relent. They will not let God's people go. So again, the flies are in the food, they're in the clothing, they're everywhere, and there's a great concern in Egypt. So let's see tomorrow what happens.